It's not very often a mod comes along where I think by myself, yeah, you're gonna be a permanent feature of my Stellaris gameplay. Because, well, here it is. More events mod, dynamic political events, or any sort of extension of the event system are for me some of the best mods in the game, but it doesn't mean that there are mods out there that tickle my fancy. Gilly's Planetarium Modifiers, Giga Structural Engineering, all of these go straight in the category of must-haves in my personal opinion. Sure, they may be hilariously overpowered in certain scenarios, but still, it is very nice to see that uh, these particular mods exist. Now, I did say that this particular mod we're going to be talking about today is one of those mods that I will most likely never uninstall. Unless, of course, there is a patch that kind of ruins the installation feature. But aside from that, yeah, this is pretty much it. Imagine. The Automated Dreadnought from Leviathans. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it has one of the most distinct graphical cultures within the game, aside from maybe the Avians as well as the Lithoids. But still, wouldn't you want more of that ship type, or at least something that is influenced by that design? Well, I've got the mod for you. Introducing the Machine Ship Set. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I specifically want to thank the modder for this particular ship set, Aaron, who has made an absolutely wonderful set of ships here. It is gorgeous. I cannot even state that enough. From the smallest ship to the biggest ring world, it is all there with full support for mega structures, gateways, habitats, ships of course, as well as various other things that fit within the graphical culture. Hell, even the fighter craft have tiny little models that are, well, fit perfectly within the graphical culture. Still though, why should you download this? Well, first of all, it has full support with more ship classes, or at least a new ship classes mod, which is another one that you should probably download because who doesn't want to play around with battle cruisers, etc. So let's take a deeper look here at what we have in this particular mod in terms of ship classes and what they could do. Uh, please have a, a quick note here because I am playing with new ship classes in this particular playthrough. I've been playing this for about a day or so. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's looking quite good. So let's dive right in. Here is one of my fleets currently sitting at 140,000 fleet power. And there they all are. All the tiny ships uh, in their glory. Of course, there is another fleet over here with the Titans and Dreadnoughts. And we got ourselves our carriers over here. And they look absolutely amazing. I, I particularly love this Dreadnought with the giant middle finger cannon in the front it is absolutely gorgeous of course we got uh, some more ships over here uh it looks like it's some battle cruisers or battleships even and we got some carriers as well and they all look absolutely amazing but that's not everything for instance look at that there's a gateway here that is perfectly fitting within the actual model absolutely amazing so let's take a quick look here at a ship designer and what we have. Uh, Corvette, fairly straightforward, I feel. Uh, it, is, uh, it, it, is, it is actually rather chunky. I do like it. It gives a very homeworld feel to it, especially with that bow destroyer. Same sake there. The cruiser, who could forget about that? I'm quickly going to skip over the other ones for now because I want to get all the default ones out of the way. The battleship, which is basically a smaller version of the Wonders, that is the automated dreadnought. It is it is wonderful. I do like it. Uh, the Titan, of course, which is an even chunkier version of the battleship, and then of course we've got our stations, defensive stations, fortresses, 
ion cannon, which is which seems to be very similar to the humanoids cannon that's sitting on front of the Titan. Uh, we got ourselves a juggernaut, which is pretty darn awesome looking. It is it is very flat, of course, and uh, it's got this, these giant cannons on the front, etc. And of course, the Colossus. Who doesn't like a good old Colossus, right? It basically is like a like a tiny tripod, except the tiny tripod is ready to blow up your planet now of course with uh, new ship classes mod there's a bunch of additional stuff there as well like the strike cruiser uh, we got ourselves the escort carrier which also has individual components yes this uh, mod completely supports individual components on your ship so for instance we got all of these different bow sections these broadside sections the uh, the stern sections all individually modeled and ready to be put into your favorite ship design. Kuragane doesn't have this. They just have one model for every single design. Which I think is uh, one of the big weaknesses of that particular ship mod. But still, uh, you can't have everything. Because that one was very clearly designed with the idea of... This is the model This is you're going to play with. This particular mod is a lot more dynamic and flexible. Allowing you to have uh, more ship designs and more ship choices. Escort carrier, uh, same idea, it's just with more stuff on it. Uh, the battle cruiser, even larger, with even more cannons. I'll ignore all this stuff, that is all new ship classes. Uh, the exploration clue cruiser, which I think is cool as well. Also new uh, ship classes mod. The carrier, again, new ship classes mod. Dreadnought, oh my god, it's so awesome. It completely spills over the UI, but it's still amazing. And, of course, the flagship, which is just... Okay, uh, how much would you like your ship to cost, sir? Well, 23,000 alloys will have to do. I should probably autocomplete this and actually turn this into uh, something better. And, of course, uh, we got ourselves the Juggernaut and uh, the headquarters that we uh, haven't actually talked about because it's part of new ship classes mod. So there you have it, a mod that is possibly better than any other one in the workshop when it comes to ship design and classes, at least in the way that it fits with the current aesthetic of the game. It's got so much going for it, I love every single part of it. It was made by a single person, Aaron, you are. Uh, you are awesome, like seriously, this is this is incredible what has been put together here and it's constantly being updated. Ring worlds have just been put in, gateways have just been put in, the matter decompressor is going to be put in, as well as some a whole bunch of other things that are slowly but steadily being added over time. Although I say slowly, she did manage to uh, slap in those previously mentioned items, i.e. the gateway and ring world and now the matter decompressor in under two days, which I thought was pretty astounding so what are you waiting for jump on to the steam workshop there is a link below in the description and give this mod some love if you play with new ship classes this is definitely something you want to play with because these mods look absolutely incredible whether or not these uh this will have future support when it comes to the new habitats update we will have to see but i will uh, poke her to make sure that uh that is gonna be a thing as well Grab it, you will not regret it. Unlike Plantoids, which cost 10 bucks at launch, this one is completely free and it looks absolutely amazing. Machine ships from the vanilla game, the ones that look like triangles stacked on top of each other, this blows them completely out of the water. I want to thank my patrons for making this video possible, but also, of course, Aaron for making this mod possible. If it wasn't for you, this obviously would not happen it's it, it 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 just warms my heart to see stuff like this so late in the game's life cycle it is absolutely incredible in the meantime though we're gonna go wrap it up here what are you waiting for jump into the comments below or the description below download this thing now you will not regret it until next time take good care of yourselves and as always assimilate those pops